Hey guys, so we have been talking about time. We're gonna now talk about something called elapsed time. Now elapsed time is how much time has passed from one time to another. So I'm gonna show you guys a strategy of how to figure this out. So let's say I'm trying to figure out how much time I spent at a Mexican restaurant. Now I spend a lot of time at Mexican restaurants, but I'm gonna talk about maybe one day where I went to a Mexican restaurant for dinner. So let's say I got to this Mexican restaurant at 5.30. That's when I got there, but I left the restaurant at 7.18. So I'm gonna try to figure out how much time I spent at the restaurant total. So I'm gonna use what's called a T-chart. I'm gonna draw a line down the middle and draw a line from left to right where it kind of looks like a T. You guys see the T? So I'm gonna to try to get from 5.30 to 7.18. Now, if you know me, I like to use easier numbers. I like to add and subtract and multiply and divide using numbers that I already know, using addition and subtraction I already know because it makes it easier for me in the long run. So. I'm going to try to get from 5.30 to 7.18. Now, I don't really know that off the top of my head, but I do know how to get from 5.30 to 6 o'clock. So let's say I'm trying to get to 6 o'clock from 5.30. Now, I know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if I already have five minutes and, sorry, five hours and 30 minutes to get from that to six hours, all I have to add is another 30 minutes. So over here, I'm going to write what I've already used, which is 30 minutes. I know that I was at this Mexican restaurant for at least 30 minutes from 530 to six. That's 30 minutes. So I'm still trying to make my way to 718. Now I can do a big jump from six o'clock to seven o'clock because I know that from six o'clock to seven o'clock, that's one hour. One hour right there. Now I have to get from seven to 718. Now that one's super easy because from seven o'clock to 718, all I have to add are those last 18 minutes. Now I know that I had an hour already. So if I'm trying to figure out the total number of time, I have to add up all of these times to figure out how much total time I spent at this restaurant. So I know that I spent an hour there, but now I have to add up my leftover minutes. 30 plus 18. So I'm going to do that over here. 30 plus 18. 0 plus 8 is 8. 3 plus 1 is 4. So I spent a total of 1 hour and 48 minutes. Or another way I could write that is 1 with a colon, 48. 1 hour and 48 minutes at this Mexican restaurant. All right. We are going to keep working on elapsed time and keep practicing. If you have any questions, don't, uh, don't be afraid to ask me. All right, let's have fun with this. Bye.